New at 11, a wild undercover operation. Tonight, only News 6 shows you some of the exotic animals officers say people were illegally selling on the streets of Central Florida. Some animals you may have never heard of. News 6's Nikki Zizaza is in the studio with some of the creatures they found in busy parking lots. Nikki? That's right, Matt and Lisa. Investigators navigated through internet sites like Craigslist where illegal wildlife sales are known to occur. And tonight, we're learning more about how state wildlife officials are combating these online exotic animal sales. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is uncovering the dark world of illegal exotic animal sales in Central Florida. From a spider ball python, a gargoyle gecko, hedgehogs, parallettes, spider snakes, and even a prairie dog. FWC dropped the hammer on a coordinated undercover sting, dubbed Operation Ibis, issuing nearly a dozen citations and warnings to individuals selling wildlife without a permit. Posing as buyers on Craigslist and answering ads, investigators busted a 57-year-old woman attempting to illegally sell two hedgehogs to undercover FWC officers at this Ocala Walmart parking lot for $160 without a license. A required license that didn't stop a 47-year-old man from allegedly offering an undercover officer illegal birds in the same parking lot a day later for $200. Realizing a sale wouldn't be made, he says, you set me up. This is one of those buy bus deals, a wide ranging multi county crime. A woman caught unknowingly trying to sell multiple snakes to a FWC investigator at this Ocoee Arby's, too. And in Wildwood, a 20 year old man sided with a second degree misdemeanor for trying to sell a gargoyle gecko at the Zaxby's parking lot. In an unmarked patrol car, FWC investigators used binoculars and waited for a signal from officers before a 64-year-old woman was cited for trying to sell a spider snake to an undercover officer. Now, most of the individuals were cited with second-degree misdemeanors. FWC officers say wildlife must have oversight and inspections to ensure they aren't carrying disease and come from a safe environment, making permits necessary. Live in the studio, Nikki Zizaza getting results. New 6. Nikki, thank you.